the music a long time ago. I can say uh, seriously when I was 15 or 16 in 78, uh, play at weddings, play weddings, play rock music, follow my uncle. Uh, I come from a family of so-called musicians, but two of them are professionals. Uh. So sometimes they do weddings, we go or do it for fun. Uh. I got seriously with my own band when I was after national service about 20, 21. Uh, I was so into the progressive rock thing. Bands like Yes, Rush, Emerson, Lake and Palmer, Jethro Tal, a lot of progressive bands that I noticed not a lot of people doing it. Lah. I always like to start something because without competition, you don't need to compete with people if you do something so-called original at, at that time, unheard of. Lah. So one of my experiences was I saw this show with uh, the famous local band Sweet Charity playing and there was an act after them. It was Heritage. A lot of people came and watched. But when Heritage played, you notice a lot of these people leave. And I wonder why. But Heritage actually covered a few Jetrotal tracks, uh, especially Echo Lung, right? And I was immediately in love with the progressive thing and and because of the level of musicianship at that time, I never see before locally. I mean, I think they should be credited for uh, one of the first things that I love playing music also uh, because I love playing progressive rock at that time. If you notice, Stomping Ground also not a typical hardcore band one. We don't sound like any hardcore band in the world. We were always experimenting with different things. There was a time in 95 when our album measured by the Ritter scale. Even hardcore people don't like it because they say it sounded too metal. But until there was a sounding metal band from the Western world, then they will accept, they, they, they learn to accept. But by then we are far ahead already. I believe that when you want to do something, you should create your identity. You can be inspired, but you have to be original at the same time. It was really hard lah. It affected us a lot because um, it's already hard to do shows. You can say like back then, maybe me, Joe Ng or a boy, we were the older ones in the scene lah, you know. The other were just kids, either students or NS men or just starting out. You know, you do events, you need a lot of money also. Uh, and our boy usually help fund everything, right? And go through all the trouble of this approval, whatever. So, because of the slam dancing band, it even got worse. But, what they don't realize, that only drives the underground deeper. We went even deeper because we still want to play. We still feel a need to spread our movement or our music. So, as much as people say hard, we found ways. We do smaller shows discreetly. We even, you can ask our boy, every weekend, our jamming sessions are like gigs. <laughs> you know, from three until at night, we like book studio for four bands straight, right? Jamming every band two hours or one hour. Then, you know, anybody who want to come in, come in, enjoy our music. Um, yeah, lah, but uh, the, uh, you, you know, as a community, you have to organize. And during the shows, maybe if, uh, let's say, there's a, the, the band's name or the lyrics might be too offensive, we change your meaning, you know. <laughs> you know, non-sex become non-sex, you know, instead of that. Then after that, when the show start, you know, everybody was helping because we don't have money for crew, right? So the band members might be the ticket, you know, the security when they are not playing, then they switch places. We not only share instruments or gadgets because some of us don't afford, but we share band members too. <laughs> so nobody is actually hardcore or punk or metal. Every or indie, everybody is everybody. Sometimes, hey, I, my basement cannot INS, how you? Then you metal band, you play for indie. That is why it was so good last time. It was small, but it was 
it, it was family, you know. It 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 was something that is very hard to have that kind of thing, you know. You know, okay, we we start from the beginning. Ah, uh, when I started Circus of Mutants, ah, uh, the reason is where I lived that time. Ah, uh, Street Eleven. It wasn't a good place to grow up, you know. You have everybody, brother is doing some uh, some shit, you know. Me also. No, uh, it was. Not good for kids, so I don't want my brother to end up like me. Uh, once before, or his friends, or his friends, you know. So I I started the crew just to you know take these kids off the streets, you know that kind of thing. And they were very young lah, maybe thirteen, fourteen years old. But it, it was the right time to do it. And when I discovered the hardcore lyrics, uh, hardcore uh, movement or whatever, right, uh, stomping ground discovered, we realized this is. You know, it's apt for whatever intention we wanted. You know, we want to change kids. We want to make them become better people, including especially my brother. You know, so uh, this what drove us to really spread the message. So whenever people don't understand, we say you have to not only listen to the music but read the lyrics and. Suddenly, people realize, hey, how come this fella change? Oh, they, they, the hair change. They start to not. Uh, some stop smoking. Some stop drinking. You know, come on, we go Saturday night. From there, from forum, ah, we used to do all that shit. Suddenly, we change, you no. Know? The forum gallery, right? Like, so people also notice one. Why? So we told them, ah, it's about our positive music, and we always ask, you know, every week we come down, we we talk about this, we talk about. All the scene, uh, all the genre, and we explain, and it actually caught uh, on very fast. I think the reason is back then you don't have this kind of antics on stage in Singapore. I'm not sure about. I think the Western world have, but not in Singapore. If you talk about slam dancing, stage diving, jumping around on stage, hardcore started it. Hardcore started it. It's not punk. It's not metal. Metal only one thing, head bang, you know. <laughs> But hardcore is everything they started it. So the antics is what people are attracted. But at the same time, they are also not say confused, but they curious why the lyrics is good. So it's easy because during a hardcore show or whatever you singing, you are venting out whatever you feel. It is very therapeutic. So after that, you go back. For another week or a month, you know you become a better person because you already let out it, channel it out positively. And most of the people who came to the our early shows at Substation already know that. You know those who don't know, they will find out. They will ask around why this band, why you know, because back then we don't have internet. It's either a, the word of mouth or reading from magazines and. I can say a lot of local independent magazines and even including Big O, of course, have helped to explain us what kind of music we play, what what are our lyrics, what are our movement. You know, is totally different. Uh, so that's it. That, 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 that's how the whole thing happened. I mean, people do understand how. What what kind of music they know? How loud we are? How crazy our antics are? But the reason for for that is actually everything is positive.